Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church, and I am at Maidley Ranch. <laughs> I'm in the rider line for our rainy day dismissal, and I was thinking about uh, how there's just some people in the church right now, there's Christians today who believe that things should never change, right? They like things the way they are. If it ain't broke, why fix it? The Bible never changes, God never changes, so the church should never change. And it made me think about Ronald Reagan. Uh, in 1980, before Ronald Reagan was ever president, the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan and they were taking advantage of every opportunity. Uh, I think they saw a weakness in perhaps how Jimmy Carter was running our country and they did everything they could to expand their empire maybe a little bit like uh, today. <laughs> and then uh, in 1987, Ronald Reagan became president and he had an idea and he conferred with all his advisors and he said, this is what I want to do. And his group of advisors said, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, even Colin Powell said, don't do it. That's, that's not good. You, you, you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to encourage change. You don't want to you know, make tensions worse between us and the, the Soviets, don't, don't poke the bear, right? And uh, Reagan didn't listen. He, he stood and delivered the Brandenburg speech. And in that speech, he said those famous lines. He says, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And when he said it, something happened. The world changed. The whole world changed. In 1989, the Berlin Wall came down, and a few years after that, the USSR was dismantled. Now, you and I will probably never have that same kind of impact in the world. And I still think those moments exist, though, but they certainly don't exist for people who will never embrace change. I think they don't exist for people who are fine with the status quo. I mean, as Christians, you and I, we are not called to guard tradition and to make sure that things never change. Rather, I think as followers of Christ, we are called to obey. That is what we are supposed to do. We are called to obey God. And then when it's our turn, then we, we do the right thing when it's our turn. Reagan was one person and he knew that just like any other monster that hides under the bed, all you have to do is pull the sheets back and expose it for what it really is, and it'll go away. I mean, think about David and Goliath. David was one person. David picked up a rock, <laughs> and he killed a monster. And now it's our turn. It's the church's turn. And, and you and I, we don't, we don't follow in the steps of a Messiah who guarded tradition or said that things should never change. Rather, we follow a Messiah who flipped tables. He ate and slept outside, ate with sinners. He allowed his disciples to pick grain on the Sabbath. <laughs> he turned water into wine. We are not disciples of the scribes and the Pharisees, and we have got to stop acting like it. We are disciples of the God of yes. We are disciples of the God of new. Jesus says in Revelation, behold, I stand and make all things new. The New Testament says you are a new creation. The old is gone. We're gonna talk about saying yes to new this Sunday at Walden Community Church. It's also the first Sunday of November, so we're gonna have communion as a body of believers. And so, we would love to see you. We have two services on Sunday, one at 9.30, which is our traditional service. We have a choir, we're gonna sing hymns. It's gonna feel like the church that you went to when you grew up. Uh, our service at 11 o'clock is our contemporary service. We have a worship team. Uh, come as you are, come as you feel comfortable. It's also the same hour we have a full children's program. We also have youth group every Wednesday. Send your junior high and high school kids over. We would love to have them. We'll send them home to you in about an hour and a half. Hey, 
We want to be the church where you live. I'll see you Sunday.